I'm okay. done. Next question, Dustin. Uh, hey, Mike, obviously you uh, said a few times this was going to be your first go around with this. I mean, what was it like waiting that long? Find out, obviously, you guys were one of the you know last teams to make it. Just what was this whole experience like? And are you, I guess, surprised that you guys ended up uh, in a play-in game? Again, I mean, at the end of the day, we're in. Uh, got to play the play-in game. That's all. That's my only concern right now. We got to go and start studying, getting ready for Wyoming, and uh, get our guys ready to go tomorrow in practice and get on the plane and head to Wyoming. I mean, to uh, Dayton to play Wyoming. Kevin. Coach, you stated this is a goal. How gratifying is it to make the field in your first season? And what does it mean for the players, you think? Well, again, this is not about me. It's about our program and the work that these players have put in uh, this season to get to this point. And now we're here. Uh, we got our marching orders this this evening. And so now we got to start prepping and getting ready to play Wyoming. Mike Schumann. Coach, you mentioned that being about the players, how gratifying is it for you to kind of look them in the eye and to help them be a part of what, what for all of them was a first time NCAA tournament appearance? Well, again, I mean, that's what it's, it's all about, man. You, you come to college, if you come to college to play basketball, you come to try to make the tournament and get an education. And, you know, a lot of these guys have been sitting on the sideline for some years, you know, watching, you know, NCAA basketball being played in March and, and never really knowing what it's about. And, and now they get an opportunity come Tuesday uh, to play in the tournament and, and win and perhaps move on to uh, Portland, Oregon to, to face St. Mary's. So, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm so thrilled because these guys have worked their butts off to get to this point. And uh, I want to see that I want to see them move on. I want to see us continue to win. That's what it's all about. Zach. Mike, I guess I know you said all your focus kind of now goes to Wyoming, but do you do anything differently just in maybe mentally or physically preparing your guys on the possibility basically of having to go to Dayton to try and win that game, knowing if you do, you've got to make a, a very quick turnaround on a long flight to get to Portland? Hey, it's – listen, this is it's what it is. You know I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, we're in – we got an opportunity to win a game and advance on. Um, this is what you play for, and this is what you come to school uh, to be a part of if you're playing basketball. And, you know, it's not going to be hard for me to get these guys to understand what's the stake here. You know what I mean? You know, we're in the tournament. We want to try to stay in the tournament. That's what it's all about. Okay, Jeff and then Tom Brew, and then we'll finish. Hey, Coach, as, as a player, what is it that makes the NCAA tournament so special beyond just the chance to compete? But what is what is it that makes the atmosphere, the energy so special? Well, again, in, 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 in my case, you know, playing here at Indiana, you know, our fan base is, just, is like no other fan base. And you, you, you're playing for a national title. You're trying to get to the big dance where you – you get an opportunity to possibly win a title. I mean, that's what it's all about. Um, and, and with that being said, I mean, you, again, you don't come to school just to come to school and play basketball. You come to try to win a national title, try to win a big 10 title. And we fell short in that area this, this season, but it was a nice run for our ball club. And now we got to start getting ready for tournament play, man. And, and the stakes are even higher because Nobody wants to go home, you know, once you put that uniform up and go out there on that floor and start competing for a national title. The games become even, even tougher, I think. Last question, Tom Brew. Mike, you just uh, played three games in three days. Now you obviously have a very quick turnaround here. How did you guys survive that physically? And if you could update us on Jordan and Trey, what's the way thing that's going on with them? Well, I think, you know, I don't know about Jordan. I think Trey's going to be fine. Um, you know, we just got to listen, you know, we weren't one of the schools that was thrown in there where we played, you know, Friday or Thursday, they, they give us three or four days to prepare. Hey, we got the, we got the, the, uh, 
where they put us where we got to, we got to play our way in and it's Tuesday. So, I mean, mentally, I, you know, I got to get these guys. I just met with them, man. Hey, we got, it's a quick turnaround. We got to get ready to play Wyoming. It's just that simple. All right, coach. Thank you much. Guys, we'll be back in about five, 10 minutes.